our live feed. We want to say good morning to you and also good morning to those whose names that we cannot see that are coming in. The word of the Lord declares, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Now let Israel say that his mercy endure forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Good morning, Sister Tanya. Good morning, Sister Tara Lynn, Sister Kim, Sister Robin. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Magna. Good morning, Sister Lisa. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Sister Kimberly. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Nancy. Good morning, Sister Yvette. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Sister Janice, Sister Erica, Sister Irene, Sister Belinda. Good morning, Lady Susan, Sister Patricia, Sister Jean, Sister Estelle, Sister Betty. Good morning. Yes, yeah, so glad to be in the number this morning. Amen. Good morning, Sister Jessie, Sister Dania. Good morning, Dr. Longmire, Sister Cheryl. Good morning. Sister Mother McCroy, good morning. Sister Kaylin, good morning. Sister Giovanna, good morning. Sister Katrina, good morning. Good morning, Sister Yolanda, Chav, Sister Doris, Sister Teresa, Sister Teresa, Sister Teresa. All three Teresas are in on the same time. Good morning, Sister Wanda, Sister Lorette, Sister June, Sister Patty, good morning. Sister Cookie, good morning. Sister Monica, good morning. Good morning, good morning, Sister Daphne, God bless you. Good morning, Sister Debbie, Sister Deborah, Sister Janelle, Sister Rudy Ann, Sister Kim. Happy birthday, Mother McCroy, God bless you. Good morning, Dr. Sims. Good morning, Sister Wanda and Brother Clark, good morning. Sister Yolanda, Sister Wanda, Brother Sheldon, good morning. Sister Mary, Sister Evelyn, Sister Michelle, Sister Vanessa, Sister Tabitha, good morning. Sister Ada, good morning. Sister Ida, good morning. Sister Shirley, good morning. Another day of mercy, yes, God. Sister Lisa, Sister Kathleen, Sister J Steph, Sister Belinda, Sister Shelley, good morning. Good morning, good morning to all of you. Amen, amen. Good morning, Sister Wanda, Sister Paulette. God bless you. God bless you and to all of you that are coming in on the prayer line. We want to say good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Arinda, Sister Wanda. And I want to remind you to share with you, good morning, Sister Nicole, that if ever um, there is a, a, a disconnect on the uh, live feed, you are able to go to the prayer line, 917 Nine hundred one zero two two, Sister Cassinda, the access code is eight nine two, two, eight nine two three nine two eight. I want to thank you, thank you for those of you that have been sowing into this prayer hour. God bless you and thank you for mingling your intercessory voice with other intercessors on this morning. I want you to begin as you are doing to position yourselves, your hands and your fingers to fight as we are strategically fighting in cyberspace. Good morning, Sister Idella. We are commanding, directing, and prophesying into our mornings and the mornings of those in cyberspace for positive outcomes based upon the word of God. And we declare what the Bible says, and that is that I will make my prayer unto God and he will hear me. Sister Janelle, uh, Baby Traden came out of surgery. Thank you, Jesus. Or to come out of surgery well. In the name of Jesus, we're praying. We're praying, Sister Cynthia, God bless you. The Bible says, and this is the confidence that we have in him when we pray that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy way. Good morning, Jimmy. I want you to stay with me and go with me in the word of God. I want to talk to you about the sin against the remedy. 
the sin against the remedy. The Bible declares from the book of Proverbs chapter 18 in verse 14, and I want to remind you of this word, and it says, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit, who can bear it? Again, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit, who can bear? There are two kinds of sicknesses that can come upon a man. One is a physical infirmity. It is a, a sickness or disease that affects the body, like COVID-19. And then dependent upon the temper or the disposition of a person's mind, the mind can relieve, the mind can nourish, it can lift an individual in the midst of their physical battle. The other sickness of the second kind of illness is one that comes upon a man that the Bible declares is heavier than the first. The second illness is the one that touches the spirit of a man. When the spirit of a man, understand this, is wounded, when that spirit is damaged, either before, during, or even after the physical body is afflicted. It leaves little return for the damaged physical health of that man. The Bible declares that before the health of the physical man can be healed, the inner man must be healed. The inner man, the mind, uh, uh, the mind of the man, it must have the strength in order to fight. So when the second illness, that is the hit to the spirit man, if it is not healed, then the totality of a man can deteriorate. So watch this. You can take a hit to the body. And if the mind is intact, you can hold up. You can stand. You can stand in the body if the mind is intact. But if the mind is hit first, it's going to throw the whole body offline. Watch this. They can play off of each other, the mind and the body. Because a lengthy sickness to the external man can also play on the mind of a man. Follow me. Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 22. It says, Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Again in this text, it is the healing of the internal, external. Watch this. But here, the prophet Jeremiah speaks to the present and he speaks prophetically. He looks at the people and looks at the actual terrain of the region. Watch this. He's looking at the people and he's looking at the terrain of the region, the actual terrain, the, the land. And as he looks at the people and he looks at the actual terrain of the region, he notices that there was a healing in the gum of the trees that are in the region. Now th from this, Jeremiah seems to draw a parable. Jeremiah shows the people themselves. He says, here is an internal sickness in you. And here's not only an internal sickness, but he says that there's a political sickness. You with me? That needs a healing. And he says, in the midst of this internal sickness of yours, and in the midst of this political sickness of yours, there is a vaccine. Hmm. There is help. There is a balm in the midst of it all. That balm is grace. 
that balm is mercy. That balm is the word of God. And then the prophet Jeremiah says this. Right here is a physician. A physician to administer the vaccine directly to the illness. But there appeared to be those that were available to aid in the healing of the physical body, but not the healing of the wounded soul. God had been provoked by the people's doings that are in the time of Jeremiah and also in our time. God had been provoked by their doings and provoked by their sin. If you remember in the book of Genesis, and not only in the book of Genesis, but in the book of Exodus and Leviticus moving forward, the people of God continued to try God with their murmuring and with their complaining. So God had been provoked by their doings and by their sins to carry out his will. But God was still in the wings waiting to heal. Even though their sins deserved his will, his punishment. He was still waiting to heal them. Do you remember the word that we gave at the beginning? That this was an internal sickness, sin. There was resulting in external consequences. The internal sin was showing up on the outside. We know what that's like. Because they say, you are what you eat. Hmm. And sometimes when we eat the wrong things, it shows up on the outside. Listen, nobody knows totally why God allowed COVID-19, the blood of Jesus. But we can say, and I believe, that God is allowing it as an instrument of his mercy and grace to accept the healing of the internal man, the sin issue, which will sometimes bring about the healing of the natural man on earth. But for surety, it is healing for the natural man after earth. Our assignment this morning is the healing of babies children, teens, youth, women and men of COVID-19 for an effective vaccine, an effective balm that will have no negative side effects. That is the same good vaccine for everybody. We are asking this morning because the Lord told us to ask. Somebody said, everybody is not going to be healed. I'm not going to say that. Because the Lord declared unto us to ask, I'm believing for the healing of everybody. That's what I'm believing. And I'm allowing God to make the difference. Even as we gather on this morning in the presence of the Lord, I'm we are praying because there are 20 million, 20 million that are reported COVID cases and it's edging towards 750,000 deaths globally. We are also praying against these violent breakouts that are happening in major cities. The blood of Jesus, dear God. So let's enter in with praise and thanksgiving. Father, in the name of Jesus, great is our God and greatly to be praised. God, we praise you this morning. We bless and we magnify your great and your awesome name. God, you sit high and you look low. Your seat is on the circle of the earth. And as you sit on the circle of the earth, dear God, you see and you know all things. And God, for this, we give you glory. And for this, dear God, we give your name the praise. 
We lift your name on high. And God, we say thank you. Yeah, thank you, dear God, for covering us last night. Thank you for protecting us, dear God. As we lay down to sleep in the name of Jesus, you, Lord God, not only covered us, but you protected us from danger seen and unseen. And for this, dear God, we give your name the glory. Emma. Yeah, and we declare that you are God. And there is nobody beside you. There is nobody like you in the name of Jesus. Father, the heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament showeth his handiwork. Come on, worship and praise him with me. God, you are a very present God. In the time of trouble, in the time of need, God, you declared that you would never leave us and that you would never forsake us. And God, we declared that you're right here even now. Yeah. Thank you, dear God, for your presence in the name of Jesus. Arise, oh God, Kimasa, and take your place in the name of Jesus. Arise, oh God, hallelujah, and do what you do best. God, you are a healer. Yeah, and we give you glory, dear God. Take your seat, dear God. Hallelujah. In our midst, in the name of Jesus. And God, we declare yeah, nah, that you are here in the name of Jesus. We declare, dear God, that you are filling our atmosphere. You're filling our atmosphere, Lord God, wherever we are at. In the name of Jesus. And we want to say thank you for your presence. Oh, God. Hallelujah. You showed up, God, to hear our prayer. You showed up, God, to answer our request. In the name of Jesus. In Asebosha, let your glory fill this house. In the name of Jesus, oh God, have your way, dear God. In the name of Jesus, show us, God, not only your hand, but show us, dear God, your face. In the name of Jesus, feel free, dear God, to affect a lasting change in our lives. Not only in our lives, dear God, but in our home, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, someone, dear God, hearing this prayer will be changed. In in the name of Jesus. God, we can't afford to remain the same. We can't afford, Lord God, to be in the same place today that we were on yesterday. But thank you, dear God, because you're taking us even higher. Father, in the name of Jesus, mighty God, all-powerful, all-knowing God, lead us and guide us in the name of Jesus. In this conversation, dear God, that we're having with you in the name of Jesus. And when we don't know what to say, God, may our groanings be deciphered by you to be the same thing that you are saying in the name of Jesus. We are praying, dear God, your will. Father, hear our cry. Father, forgive us of our sins. Create within us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew within us a right spirit. Purge us, God, with his up, and we shall be clean. Wash us, and we shall be whiter than snow. In the name of Jesus, we present, Lord God, our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. And God, we thank you for accepting us in the name of Jesus. And God, we give you all the glory. In the Messiah. And God, we give your name the praise. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, uh, you told us to ask. And we shall receive a seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. God, we're asking, we're seeking, and we're knocking. In the name of Jesus, Father, you said that you were not a respect of persons. Oh, God, what you did for one, God, you'll do it for another. And God, we believe in you. What you did in the Bible times, we're believing, Lord God, those same miracles in the name of Jesus. You will do, God. You raise the dead in the name of Jesus. You're still raising the dead. You open blinded eyes, God, and we thank you because you're still open blinded eyes. God, you restored strength. Ah, uh, yeah. And we're believing you're restoring strength. You rebuke the enemy in the name of Jesus that was trying to take over individuals' lives. And God, we're believing you're still doing that 
same thing. And God, we're giving you glory. Father, you said that with you, nothing is impossible. Oh God, so there is nothing that you cannot do. There is nothing that you cannot change. In the name of Jesus, and dear God, we're standing on your word and we're believing you, dear God. You are not a man that you should lie, neither the son of man that you shall repent. Father, you said to put you in remembrance of your promises. Oh God, so we're putting you in remembrance of every promise that you made. God, and you will not fail in the name of Jesus. Oh God, David assured us with his own testimony, I have been young and now I'm old, and yet have I not seen the righteous Thank you, God. The righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Oh, God, you told us to come boldly. Come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in times of need. Come on, let's praise him just a little bit longer. And Father, we dismiss all timidity this morning. Oh God, because you set for us to come boldly. Oh God, we dismiss every apprehension in the name of Jesus. We dismiss every doubt in the name of Jesus. We dismiss every fear in the name of Jesus we dismiss every caution because you said come boldly and here we are in the name of Jesus oh God Father you know what is on our hearts before we even ask so we have come this morning to lay it all out before you in the name of Jesus oh God Father there is a sickness in the land in Asabosha there is a sickness in the land not only an unrepentant sin sickness but there is a physical sickness in the land dear God that is touching our families that is touching our babies that is touching our children that is touching our women dear God that is touching our men in the name of Jesus that is touching our elderly in the name of Jesus father it can be described like the plague in Exodus father it can also be described as your wrath but father in exodus when the people cried you heard and you responded in the name of jesus and now god your people are crying you said dear god even from the book of daniel when they called lord god you answered you came because they called in the name of jesus and we're calling dear god and we believing lord god your word declaring that you will respond Father, we're carrying out this morning, oh God, in the name of Jesus, to forgive our sins and to heal our land, heal our sickness. In Asebolia, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father, one death to COVID-19 is too much. 750,000, dear God, is too much. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we're asking you, dear God, to heal our land. Oh God, it's too much for us to bear. Hallelujah. When we know that you are the great physician, dear God, when we know Oh, dear God, that you are a healer. When we know, dear God, that you are a deliverer. God, we will believe your report in the name of Jesus. And not the report, Lord God, that the news will say. Father, in the name of Jesus, we're believing and standing upon your word. We admit that we do not know in totality what your will is. But God, we ask that this be enough. Ah, oh God, let this be enough. Please, God, let this be enough. Father, we're reminded of when you gave David choices, choices of your hand because of his numbering the people. God, let this be enough. Not to move to something greater than this, but God, in the name of Jesus, if there he is, let this be the greatest. Oh God, and we ask in the name of Jesus that you heal. Father, in the 
the name of Jesus, we ask you to intervene. Intervene in the symptoms of the children. Intervene, Lord God, in the symptoms of the young people of COVID-19. In the name of Jesus, God, we ask you to fortify their immune system. In the name of Jesus, God, we ask you to give parental the sensitivity to avoid questionable places and people who may be showing or may be asymptomatic in the name of Jesus. Father, dear God, we ask you to nudge parents, nudge parents to safety cover their children like they would themselves and when possible to leave them at home in a safe environment in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you to reverse in the name of Jesus, reverse the symptoms, Lord God, in our children. Reverse the symptoms, the symptoms of red or peeling palms. Reverse it in the name of Jesus. Of red and peeling souls, God, reverse it. Of red and peeling cracked lips, God, reverse it in the name of Jesus. Of red inflamed eyes, dear God, reverse it. Of strawberry red tongues, God, reverse it in the name of Jesus. Jesus, of gastrointestinal, oh God, with abdominal pain and diarrhea, God, we ask you to reverse it in the name of Jesus, toxic shock and heart failure, God, we ask you to reverse it in the name of Jesus, and God, we're declaring, dear God, that you're doing it, hallelujah, you're doing it, dear God, because we ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you, dear God, to heal, heal all of the sin symptoms of COVID-19 in adults. In the name of Jesus, Father, we're asking you to intercept, intercept, Lord God, in the two days to the 14 days of formation after exposure. God, intercept in the name of Jesus. Intercept, dear God, and heal. Oh God, we speak to fever in the name of Jesus to those that are in the hospital. Oh God, those that are at home in the name of Jesus that was sent home to recover and God sent back home because their symptoms are not deep enough. God, we ask you, we ask you to heal fever and heal chills in the name of Jesus. Reverse it. Oh God, we ask you to reverse that cough in the name of Jesus. Oh God, hallelujah. We ask you to reverse that shortness of breath in the name of Jesus. Reverse that difficulty of breathing in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we're asking you to reverse that fatigue in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask you to build up the immune system. God, we ask you to reverse, reverse the muscle or body aches in the name of Jesus. Oh God, reverse it. Reverse that headache. Anasaboya. In the name of Jesus, reverse it. God, we ask you to reverse that loss of taste. In the name of Jesus, restore the taste. In the name of Jesus, we ask you to reverse that loss of smell. Ah, in the name of Jesus, reverse, dear God, that sore throat. In the name of Jesus, reverse, dear God, that congestion, that runny nose, that nausea of vomiting, diarrhea, God, in adults. We ask you to reverse it in the name of Jesus. No more spreading. Can I? Oh, yeah, my son. We speak, dear God, to the asymptomatic in the name of Jesus. We speak, dear God, to the pre-symptomatic in the name of Jesus. We speak, dear God, to the symptomatic. And we got we ask you, dear God, to end it. And I saw right there, God, in the name of Jesus. That range, dear God, from mild to severe. Uh, bring it back in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. And for this, we give you glory. Father, we speak. We speak to the target of older adults in the name of Jesus. God, they are being healed even now. Oh, God, even the symptoms, even Lord God, the pre-existing conditions. Oh, God, will not stop your healing in the name of Jesus. People with chronic health conditions, people with compromised immune systems in the name of 
of Jesus, we are declaring that they are being healed even at this very moment. I see somebody right now in the name of Jesus that is laying up in their hospital bed, laying up even at home, that is listening, dear God, to this prayer in the name of Jesus. And if there's somebody in the hospital with them right now, hallelujah, that can put the phone up to their ear in the name of Jesus. And we speak the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God will not fail. In the name of Jesus, we declare and decree, ah oh God, healing in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus cover from the top of your head to the sole of your feet in the name of Jesus. And now, God, we ask you not just to heal COVID-19, but God, we ask you to heal, oh God, any illness in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The doctors cannot understand, even on the body, the reason that they're in the hospital. Father, in the name of Jesus, the doctor will come back and declare, I have no idea what happened, but there's nothing there in the name of Jesus. Oh God, the pain in their body. I ask you to touch God from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. In the name of the ringing in the ear, I hear that God. The ringing in the ear, God. I ask you to cease the ringing in the ear. In the name of Jesus, the imbalance. Ha, oh God, I ask you to stabilize their balance in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we declare and decree that it is so. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your ministering angels, hallelujah, Goye Messiah, let your ministering angels minister to the loved ones of COVID-19 patients because they can't be with them during this time. I ask you, dear God, hallelujah, to strengthen Strengthen and put your arms around those, hallelujah, that are caregivers for COVID-19 individuals. Father, in the name of Jesus, and we're declaring right now that you're strengthening them. We're praying, dear God, for children, children that are without their parents because parents are in the hospital, dealing with COVID-19 and dealing with illnesses. In the name of Jesus, I ask you, dear God, hallelujah to give peace to the heart and the mind of that child. God, I pray for parents, parents that are without their children because children, dear God, are in the hospital. Children, dear God, hallelujah, are alone with just in the name of Jesus, just doctors and just nurses. God, I ask you in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, to comfort that child's heart. Let the individual that is caring for them in the hospital be just as loving to them, dear God, as their parents are. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray for husbands. I pray for wives that are without each other. In the name of Jesus, because one and even, I hear you, God, even both of them are in the hospital, but they're unable to see each other. Father, I ask you, dear God, hallelujah, to comfort and strengthen their hearts, heal their bodies, dear God, so that they can come together together again in the name of Jesus. Oh God, don't let the enemy step in and discourage their heart and their mind and allow them, Lord God, hallelujah, to speak that into their bodies. Oh, we declare and decree in the name of Jesus that he is a God that heals all sicknesses and all diseases in the name of Jesus. If he couldn't do it, he wouldn't say it, but he said it, oh God, to give us some encouragement uh, to know that he knows even this. Uh, Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus uh, to heal the physical, heal the emotional, uh, and heal the mental hurt in our homes uh, because of the loss of loved ones. Uh, suddenly, in, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, I ask you to heal. Uh, hi God, I see family members before me, God, uh, that are having a difficult time. But God, there's nothing too hard for you. In the name of Jesus, speak life into them. In the name of Jesus, I ask you, dear God, to heal. Heal the financial devastation of our homes. Our homes that have taken 
the kid trying to care for hospital expenses, trying to care, Lord God, with or without insurance. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus to strengthen the finances of those that have had to travel, travel back and forth to see loved ones. In the name of Jesus, the traveling expenses, hotel expenses, food expenses. In the name of Jesus, I ask you, dear God, to open up the door, open up somebody's heart to pour into individuals that are having to deal with these expenses because of caring for loved ones that may not be in their vicinity. In the name of Jesus, and God, we declare and decree that it is so. Father, we speak in the name of Jesus. We speak a ceasing. We speak a ceasing of abusive essential workers due to their tiredness, due to their own illnesses, due to lack of concern, due to being jaded, jaded by the continuous sickness and loss. In the name of Jesus, I ask you, dear God, Hallelujah. To give them a conscience and give them a heart. Oh God, because everybody is somebody in the name of Jesus. And God, uh, hallelujah, we thank you uh, because you're even the meeting, meeting the, the needs, Lord God, uh, of the essential workers in the name of Jesus. Oh God, uh, some of them are stressed and concerned because their needs at home are not being met, uh, but they're coming in trying to care for others. I ask you, dear God, hallelujah, to bless them in the name of Jesus, financially and even healing in their body, in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord God, your word declares, hallelujah, that you sent your word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, and we declaring and decreeing that it is so. Oh, God, we're also praying this morning, hallelujah, for those, Lord God, that are doing violence, breaking in things, destroying things, violent breakouts in major cities in the name of Jesus. In Chicago, oh yeah, my set, oh yeah, hey God, hallelujah, in Michigan, in Texas, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask Ask that you intercept this violence by diversion. God, let those that are getting ready to commit the violence, let them have other responsibilities that rise up, that keep them preoccupied, that keeps them from being, hallelujah, victims and keeps them, Lord God, from being the one that perpetrates the evil. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, dear God, to intercept intercept them going forward with the evil plans in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and we declare and decree that it is so. Father, we ask that you let them, let them be intercepted by one that feels their hurt. Hallelujah. And feels their heart to get something done in the name of Jesus, but shows them, shows them how to do it peacefully in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let them instead of doing violence, God, let someone be available. Someone be available to hear them, hear their heart, hear their concerns in the name of Jesus, hear their mind. Hallelujah. That they can get it out in the name of Jesus. Oh God, so that the violence is not perpetrated on those that don't deserve don't deserve the violence oh God and for this God we give you glory God for this we give you praise and we bless and magnify your name in the name of Jesus hallelujah and God we declare and decree that it is so we declare and decree that it is so in the name of Jesus oh God we ask you in the name of Jesus hallelujah to put an edge of protection 
dear God, around our homes, around our jobs, in the name of Jesus. Let not your people go out, Lord God. Hallelujah. And let them not, when they go out in the name of Jesus, have destruction, but God, they'll go out in peace and come back in peace. In the name of Jesus. And God, for this we give you glory. God, for this we give your name the praise. Oh God, we bless your great name. We praise your great name. Dear God, before we may, before we pray for any request, dear God, we giving you glory right now. We giving you honor, God. We magnify your name for doing, Lord God, what you asked, what you told us to ask. What you already know, but you told us to ask. And God, we're giving you glory for it being done. In the name of Jesus, we're giving you praise. In us, uh, bless your great name. Bless your great. Thank you. Hallelujah. I hear you say, just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear God. Because even when we leave this space, we'll walk, Lord God, to see miracles done. We're walking, Lord God, to seeing prayer answers. We're not going to be shocked, dear God, when it happens. Because we ask you, dear God, and it is done. We ask you, dear God. Hallelujah. And we believe that you heard us. We believe you, dear God. We believe that you are a rewarder. And God, we declare and decree that it is so. Thank you, dear God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, dear God, hallelujah, for those that you put on our hearts and put, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, in the request, God, we pray, hallelujah, for those that have individuals and things on the heart and in the mind of those in the on the prayer line, in the name of Jesus. They may not be able, Lord God, to verbalize that we can hear, but I'm declaring right now for all of you that are on the prayer line to open up your mouth and put your request in the air in the name of Jesus. And when you put your request in the air, everything that you put in the air, I want you to declare after you say it, it is so in the name of Jesus. And for those dear God that are on our prayer line, oh God, on live feed, Father, we're praying for the needs. We're praying for Evangelist Octavia. We're praying, Lord God, for Darnell Clark. We're praying for for trustee Dolores Patterson, all those dear God that are getting ready to go through surgery in the name of Jesus. We're praying dear God for Pastor Edwards and family. We're praying for the Matthews children, Wayne Jr., Isaiah, Michael, Joshua, Rachel, Sidney Cross. God, we're praying for Mrs. Casabayor. Oh God, we're praying for First Lady Mary Scales, the Scales family, as well as Christ Temple Apostolic Faith Church in in Dayton, Ohio. Father, we're praying for Tika Tig in the name of Jesus. We're praying, dear God, for Darnell and Dawn Birch. Heal, dear God, in the name of Jesus. We're praying, dear God, for Minister Sonia Williams and family. We ask you to comfort right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, comfort all of those, Lord, that, are, that have lost loved ones. We pray, dear God, for Lindsay Ballard. We pray for the Ballard and the Lockett family. We pray for Joshua, Daniel, and Isaac, for Sister Linda Davis, for Maya and Kiera, for Dorothy Watson, for DJ, Natasha, Noah, Dylan, and Kevin. God, we pray for Jocelyn in the name of Jesus, for Deshaun Jones, for Errol and Addis Joseph, Evangelist Jackie and Doris Scott, for Janelle, for Terrence. God, we're praying for Arlene Manning and for Alexis. God, thank you for healing her body. We're praying, dear God, for Evangelist Crystal Williams. We're praying for marriages for Hannah and for Delbert, for George Barron and Byron in Jesus' name, for Sister Mary. Hallelujah. Bring Arlene home and healed in the name of Jesus. For mothers Joseph Proctor, Philip Savage, Smith and Green. For Janisha Hunt. For Tymir. For Taylor Jones. John Jones. Cynthia. God, we're praying in the name of Jesus. For the Welch, Evan and Bell family. For Catherine, Heather and Zipporah. God, for Sabrina and Garfield. For the Ar for Armor family and children, for Craig, Joanne, and Denise. God, we're praying for abused children in the name of Jesus. God, I ask you to get to bring them to safety 
in the name of Jesus, no more abuse. Oh God, in the hands that abuse, God, you will correct. In the name of Jesus, you will judge. God, we're praying for Paris and we're praying for Isaac. We're praying for John and Justin. We're praying, dear God, for Dr. Gutierrez, for Carol, Bob, and Deb. We're praying for Todd Massey and the Huggins family, Sister Benson, Amira, Aluri, Anna Marie, Thomas Porter, Diane Motes, Tamika, the Dimmings family, the grandchildren, Darian Murphy, Special Burgess, the sickly old family, in the name of Jesus, cover the family. God, we're praying for Bishop J. Laverne Tyson and Lady Linda and the Saints in Warren, Ohio, for Ivory, Jasona, Jenna, Carolyn, and Joshua, for Gwen, Ashley, and her husband. Heal those, Lord God, that are dealing with back pain, that are dealing with muscle pain, that are dealing with blood issues, that are dealing, Lord God, hallelujah, with immobility in the name of Jesus, dealing with arthritis and bursitis, heal in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we're praying, Lord, for those that have lost jobs, that are still waiting on jobs. Open, Lord God, the avenue, the doors for them, God, to be blessed with jobs that pay beyond what they even had set them up in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we declare and decree that it is so in the name of Jesus. Father, we're praying for Shirley Smith in the name of Jesus. Heal her body. Oh God, we're praying in the name of Jesus for essential workers. Teresa Sanders, God, I thank you. I thank you for the healing that you're doing in her body in the name of Jesus. I thank you, dear God, because you're bringing her to full health in the name of Jesus. I pray, dear God, for Pastor Thomas Gaines. I pray, dear God, for Joshua, Daniel, Maya, and Rihanna. Hey, God, for Pat and Tony Mancini in the name of Jesus. For Candace, Camille, Ashley, Kayla, Courtney, Gabrielle, Alfred III, Aaron, Addison, and Cassidy. For all of our senior citizens, for those that are in nursing homes, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, hallelujah. I pray, Lord God, for the workers that have to work in nursing homes. I pray, Lord God, that you heal their bodies so that they don't take, uh, God, COVID-19 and the disease into the nursing homes. Oh God, and for unsuspecting uh, our senior citizens to fall prey to the diseases that are coming up on the outside. Oh God, we thank you for healing the body in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, we pray for Pastor Robert Moore. Oh God and family, we pray for the children that are going back to school. We pray for the teachers. We pray, Lord God, for the Fern Sykes, for the homeless, Elijah, Uriah, Seth, Amir, and Brian. Heal, Lord God, those that are dealing with diabetes. We pray, Lord God, for Glenda Gilchrist, heal her body, for Cheryl Rose, for Jean Thompson, for Tremisha and Tarion, for our veterans for Elaine Wilson. Oh God, hallelujah. And we declare and decree that it is so in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray, dear God, for all of our intercessors, those, Lord God, that are on the prayer line and those, dear God, that are on the live feed. I pray, Lord God, for, for the God seekers in the name of Jesus, for those that made the sacrifice to get up early in the morning. Oh God, I ask you, dear God to do what you said you would do and that is to bless them dear God because early they sought you and father in the name of Jesus we declare and decree that it is so oh God I ask you in the name of Jesus to go with them as they go out and as they come in back and forth to work God we're declaring and decreeing that all is well in the name of Jesus I need somebody to begin to put in the comment box that it is so and all is well. I hear that all is well, all is well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for doing it for us again. Thank you for doing it through us again. Thank you for doing it with us again. In the name of Jesus, oh God, hallelujah. And it is so, and it is so. Monica, we're praying in the name of Jesus for you this morning. God, heal her body. Ah, Nasa, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, come on, declare it is so. It is so, it is so. 
it is so. Come on, put a praise on it. Close that back door in the name of Jesus. It is so. Ah, it is so. It is so. It is so. It is so. And all is well. It is so. And all is well. It is so. And all is well. I need those that are on the prayer line to open your mouth and declare it is so. And all is well. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sims. In the name of Jesus. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. Hey God, hallelujah, 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 